What's up guys, it's the Cheapster here, back with another Cheapster Reacts video. The show where I decide if you get the Cheapster seal of approval or not. So today we're going to be reacting to the video by Alia Zaita? I don't know how you say that, I'm probably pronouncing that totally wrong. Alia Zaita? But she posted a video called What I Spent in a Week as a 21 year old in Seattle. And to me this looks like an interesting video. Let's see what those 21 year olds are doing in Seattle. I feel so old now reading this. I'm 28 and I'm reading this and I'm like, 21, yeah, like that's, that's just like me. And I'm like, wait. No, I'm, I'm way older now. 21 is actually like the age of my sister. And this is really weird to watch this and think this is my younger sister's age. Man, I'm feeling old. But this video looks pretty good. It has a ridiculous uh, like ratio here. 2.8 thousand to eight. That That's amazing. Only eight dislikes. That's amazing. Yes, yeah, she has 103,000 subscribers. So feel free to check her channel out. But first off, let's go ahead and get the video started with a like and a subscribe. In today's video, I want to share with you guys everything that I spend in a week as a 21 year old living in Seattle. I thought it would still be fun to show you as I am a student. I also work a part-time job and I have YouTube as well. That is a lot of stuff going on. Being a student, doing YouTube and working part-time, that is crazy. I don't know how much she does YouTube. I'm assuming by her subscriber count a lot. It's YouTube is a busy job. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. And she's sponsored, smart, smart. So first, First, let's get into my monthly expenses. I live in a studio apartment with my boyfriend. Our rent is $1,365 including utilities. That's not I mean, it's a studio, so it's small, but I'm trying to think. I don't really know Seattle super well. I lived in New York City, so I can imagine it's kind of somewhat similar, probably a little bit cheaper. $13.65? Not too bad, especially since she splits half of that. That's also including utilities, so yeah, that's pretty good. Comes to $170 a week. Electricity bill, it's usually around $150. That comes to $9.37 a week. I also own a car, and I'm paying it off right now, so I pay $127 monthly, which weekly comes to $31 and 75 cents. That's not too bad for the car payment. I mean, that's so much better than most people who are paying like ridiculous prices. And she's working part-time and doing YouTube. So I'm assuming she definitely should be able to afford that price. And depending upon her part-time job and what she does on YouTube, I'm assuming maybe she needs that car anyway to work. Our internet bill is $50 and we split it. And then that comes to $6.25 per week. That internet bill is cheaper than mine. I pay $60 a month for internet here. And it's like bad internet. But yeah, 50 bucks a month. That's pretty good. And since she splits that too, uh, that's a great price. And also very needed and a business write-off too for your YouTube channel. We don't really use our car very much. We spend around $40 for gas every month. I usually spend around $5 per week. That's pretty good on gas. I also have a Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, $22 oh, a month. Oh, Adobe Creative Cloud. Oh yeah, she's a student. $22 a month. I was gonna say, I pay like $40, I think, and that's even at a discount. Wait a minute, how is she paying $22? Comes to $5.50 per week. How? How? I'm assuming she, maybe she doesn't use the video editing stuff and that's why she's only paying 22 because I don't, I don't know how you get that for $22. It's expensive. The creative cloud is so expensive. Academic sound, which is what I use for putting music on my videos per month. I pay $15, which comes to $3 and 75 cents per week. That's pretty good. I wouldn't include that because that's just a business expense. Same with the Adobe creative cloud. That's not a personal expense. So my built-in weekly expenses start at $230. On Monday, the first thing I spent money on was mailing a package for a Depop order, which only ended up costing $1.50. What is Depop? I don't know what that is. I guess it's like a Macari kind of thing. I can't believe I've never heard of this. I run an eBay store and have never even heard of this. I don't think that counts either though, because if you sold something, the $1.50 is just an expense off what you just made. So she hasn't spent anything really. We usually grocery shop for the week on Mondays. So we went to Whole Foods and picked up our usual staples. Okay, there we go, going to Whole Foods. Oh man, so expensive. Now I don't know what things are like where she lives. I'm guessing Whole Foods, maybe it's like walking distance or something, but you know, Trader Joe's, or something like that is way cheaper or you know dollar store but obviously if you're buying organic and stuff uh yeah trader joe's there's uh i don't i don't know what they have in seattle but kroger has a great selection i think they have like kroger owns stores i think i've heard of ralph's in california i think that is kroger actually and they usually sell tons of organic stuff same stuff whole foods has for way cheaper we got some spinach expensive. Some bok choy expensive. here we have some tomatoes expensive expensive 
a lot of broccoli. Expensive. Some vanilla. Very almond expensive. Milk. We got some. Shrimp. That is extremely expensive. A few packs of chicken. That was then so expensive. We got some bread. Yeah. Uh, I, I got. Bread, I can't like watch it. I can't. Oh. I used to do Instacart for Whole Foods all the time, and I remember buying this stuff. Like that bag of shrimp she held up. That is so expensive. There. Shrimp's expensive anywhere, but you buy it at Whole Foods, you're gonna pay a crazy price. Some bananas. Two avocados here. One red pepper. The usual taco tortillas as well as the burrito size buttery flavored microwavable popcorn because they're on sale the mary's gone crackers usually they're really expensive but they were actually not that expensive this time biscuits a fresno chili bundle bunch of limes and lemons let me just say that i love that jacket she's wearing though that thing is awesome that looks like some vintage goodwill pole that's like some 90s right there i she she probably wasn't even around in the 90s she's what she, oh, oh i'm so old <laughs> oh my gosh don't forget i don't live alone okay so all this food is not just for me <laughs> what that that didn't even look like that much food to me so i i would say that that looked totally normal i don't know how often she goes shopping maybe once a week and then i got two dressing i got a sesame ginger dressing and then i also got a green green goddess dressing because they were also on sale i think that's like the dressing that has to come like pre-refrigerated it can't even like be on the shelf at first and that dressing is always so expensive anything that's in the refrigeration i stay away from i'll go get my dressings from all there is something to be said about a good dressing though a bunch of cans of tuna all that food was a total of okay let me guess the shrimp's expensive that chicken is really expensive too that she got i'm gonna say 93 dollars 118 dollars and 19 cents oh god $180. That's crazy. Uh, of course, it, Whole Foods, it's just so expensive. You can't get out of that store with, with anything less than the uh, 100 plus dollars. I did an Instacart order for someone once that spent over $600 at Whole Foods. And it was like one heaping cart full. Like it was, it had a lot of stuff, but $600. My wife and I go to Aldi and we just like load the cart up completely and we'll spend like 150 bucks. For 33 items. 33 items. Oh no. That's like what? 3 350 an item average. That's expensive. But there's two of us eating, so technically what's eight what's 118 divided by 2? 50 59. No, it's more than 56. 59. 57.5, right? <laughs> So $59, if that's what her part is, which probably not fair. I bet she eats less than her boyfriend. So she's spending about $200 on groceries a month. So the total that I spent on Monday was $60.75. Not too bad for a day where she actually did her grocery shopping. But hopefully that this is one of the most expensive days of the week. Nope. Hopefully. Right? Right? Good morning. Got my sandwich here. It looks hella good. Look. I don't know about you guys, but a BLT does not sound like a breakfast thing to me. I don't know. I don't eat breakfast though, really. So if I did eat breakfast, egg sandwich all the time. Fried egg sandwich. I love fried egg sandwiches. I'm sure that's much worse than what she's eating though. So probably a little healthier option. My laptop here, my charger, and I'm literally just going to head out to a coffee shop that's close by and get work done there. I have always wanted to do that to like go to a sh coffee shop. I never do it. I don't know if I'd actually be able to get more work done or less work done. Kind of feel like I might get distracted if I was at a coffee shop and just pay attention to everyone else. And while I was there for a few hours, I got myself some tea for $3.50. That is expensive for tea of course any place you go out to whenever you want to buy tea they always charge so much money for it and this looks like a pretty expensive place and it's seattle so i don't i'm probably the tea is probably really expensive there like the coffee yeah you could get tea for like what 10 cents or something if you buy it in a pack and just make it yourself but i will say i do appreciate if she is going to go use the coffee shop and actually do some work it is good to buy something so can't really falter for that there and honestly 350 at a coffee shop compared to some things like if you bought specialty coffee it'd be like seven eight bucks or something like that 
Once I got back home, I made myself some lunch. And yes, this is the infamous salad you guys all ask me about on my Instagram. Oh, I ask about that salad every single day. I, I just kept asking, tell me about that salad. It does look pretty good. I'm pretty hungry right now. I need to go eat after this, but that, that looks good. I just wanted to go for a walk and ended up finding myself at Bartels. So I picked up a few random things like some dry shampoo, some toothpaste, and a little bit of candy. Everything looks so expensive there. That hairspray is $8.50. I know probably absolutely nothing about hairspray, but I would think $8.50 is probably pretty expensive for that. But that toothpaste twin pack is $12.99. Of course, you got Seattle prices here, but I'm sure you've got Walmart shipping that you could just order from. That's what I did in New York City. I would just have stuff like that shipped to me. For one thing, you don't have to go to the store and actually buy it. You could just have it shipped to you. And it's usually the cheapest price anyway. That saved us a ton of money because like the only place by us was like Target and they charged a ton because it was Target in Manhattan. Also, you don't need to go with Colgate. You don't need to go with the actual brands. Which all added up to $25.66. That's a lot of money to spend for that stuff. So the total for Tuesday was $29.16 really um sunny but cold and kind of gloomy i don't know it's weird weather in seattle this morning i am on my way to my sister's place right now she lives around 10 minutes away from me which is really nice go to her place and try to get some like school stuff done i've been having a editing tip here while you're in the car because i do this all the time with my grubhub vlogs it makes that little pop noise because there's so much rumble from the car if you use adobe which you said you pay for creative cloud i don't know if that's really what it is but a tip here is to go to the audio transitions in adobe take the constant gain and then put that between the two clips shrink the constant gain down as much as it'll allow you and it will get rid of that clip that pop it, it gets rid of it completely it's awesome one of my first vlogs i did like this there was so much popping and i didn't know how to get rid of it it's just so loud to record in the car there's like no way to really get great audio in there but that that helps out a ton i'm just gonna go grab some coffees from this donut shop hopefully that's gonna help me focus a little bit more maybe i don't know coffee hasn't been that effective lately Oh, those look good. I love donuts. I'm such a sucker for pastries. But not really at four dollars. I'd be yeah, I wouldn't be a sucker for that. I'd 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 walk away. So for the two oat milk lattes, I spent twelve dollars and eighty-one cents. And that's basically the only thing I purchased on Wednesday. Yeah, there we go. That's the specialty coffee. That's so small. That oat milk latte is teeny. So that's six forty per oat milk latte. She got one for a friend, so I can't fault her for that. You know, being generous, that's a great thing. But that's why you buy your friend the oat milk latte and you buy yourself the cup of water. No, but Seattle, I'm sure, is crazy with coffee prices. Just It's nuts there. It's probably very good coffee. At least it's not you're spending $6 on Starbucks. <laughs> Not bad that she only spent $12 for the day. And then on Thursday, I actually go to work in the morning, 6 a.m. to around 1.30. 6 a.m. That's early. I didn't spend any money until... Ooh. So I was visiting my friend and I got a parking ticket. Ooh, that's about $49. I wonder what the parking situation though is like there because it's got to be tough. The worst part about that too is you get a parking ticket. And it's not just the ticket, but you're also probably going to have to pay more on your insurance. Because I forgot to pay. <sighs> Oh, she forgot to pay. So it wasn't just that she like parked in the wrong spot. She forgot to pay. Or was she trying to save the money? That, were you trying to save the money? You trying to be cheap, but backfired this time. And then on my way home, I stopped by Trader Joe's to just pick up a few things that we needed for the rest of the week. Trader Joe's, that's it better than Whole Foods, but that stuff is still looking pretty expensive, but it's organic. Organic's always expensive. I got more garbanzo beans or chickpeas, blueberries, the usual orange juice, spaghetti, cause we ran out and also got this quick tomato and basil pasta sauce indian style pita breads indian style pita bread uh i believe that's called non bread <laughs> what they call it indian style pita bread indian style flatbread that's really funny that they're calling it that can can they not use the word non why do they is it just because it sells better when they say flatbread mozzarella a little ball of mozzarella Got some eggies. I also got these that I've never tried before. Corn chip dippers. For all of that, it was $27.50. Again, expensive, but probably a lot better than what Whole Foods would have been. I split it in half with my boyfriend, so technically it was... <laughs> it was 13... 13.50. <laughs> 
you can't blame her. She's only 21. You know, they're on that like common core math stuff that just doesn't make any sense. You could just figure it out in your head the way that we used to do it, where you just try to add everything up to 10 and then you just subtract that. And it's actually way more confusing that way, but it works somehow. Yeah, they're, they're just not teaching kids math correctly these days. 13, 1375. That's not bad since she's splitting all the stuff in half. <laughs> She paid the same amount, pretty much, that she paid on Monday. That's not good. I was hoping Monday was just going to be the expensive day. And I thought that that was going to be all the groceries she buys. Apparently not. On Friday, I was really busy with school and editing for YouTube. And the only thing I spent money on was at the post office for $1.50. Again, that's probably just a business expense, so I wouldn't count that. That is a great Friday total, especially on a Friday when usually it's a day that people spend a lot of money. We're headed to pick up this like vintage tray thing that I purchased from this vintage store on Instagram. Purchased it like at the beginning of January. I just never got to pick it up because it's in South Seattle and I live in North Seattle. Then we're gonna go get a nice coffee. Secure the bag. Is that a young talk right there? Secure the bag? I think that means like getting money. I don't know. I'm old, I'm old, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's these, yeah, like these vintage bar things cool. on the side. She didn't say how much she paid for it though, and I guess she didn't pay for it this week, but you got it this week, so I, I want to know how much that is. The music has suddenly gotten super loud. I got the Vietnamese coffee that has cheese foam. So we're gonna do the first taste what test. What is cheese foam? I worked at a coffee shop in New York. I, I've never heard of cheese foam. I don't know what that is. That sounds really gross to me. But I will say right now, that coffee looks expensive. Funny to have that like custom sleeve on just like a cheap plastic cup though. Oh my God, it's, it's, wow. Oh, 635. <laughs> See those kind of things to me, like a one-time experience thing, yeah. Like I would try that once and then be like, that. that's amazing. Um, probably never try that again but for 635 just go get some instant coffee from the dollar store get a little bit of shredded cheese put it on top cheese foam coffee the thing that's killing me about these coffees too here is that they're like they're all short for such an expensive price but i shouldn't be surprised it is seattle on our way home we stopped to whole foods to grab some things for dinner and since we split everything by two i spent eight dollars and 42 cents see what is this what was monday then monday it looked like it was your full shopping trip and then you go shopping throughout the week i mean to split 842 for a meal it's not too bad that's pretty expensive for a meal but you got salmon from whole foods which that's obviously going to be expensive a lot of shopping going on here not too bad for a Saturday either. Again, a day that people usually spend a lot of their money. She spends a lot of her money throughout the week, actually. And then it looks like on the weekends, she's not really spending that much. I was bracing myself. I was thinking the weekends were going to hit over $100 in days and stuff. There's still Sunday. What's to come here? We are out for a happy hour meal. I like that this is happy hour. She said happy hour. So that means you're going to be saving money, hopefully. We got some chicken wings over here. Oh, those look good. Is that like honey and sesame? I'm so hungry right now. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They're caramel chicken wings. Caramel. Whatever that means. I'm always hungry when I film these for some reason. I'm always so hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hot. Oh my God. They're steaming. That looks hot. Mm. Oh. Oh no. No, why? You said happy hour. Why did you get my hopes up? I thought it was gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, like 10, $15, $35. I mean, that looks super good because partially because I'm starving right now, but $35. I mean, was that like drinks included too? Or is that just literally that appetizer and this? You said happy hour. I thought that we were gonna be saving money. $35, that's too much, too much. All right, hang on. So we got $35 dinner, and then it shows her drinking coffee here with a croissant that looks like 
it's got snot coming out of it. That's probably pistachio cream, but that does not look appetizing to me. I guess maybe somebody bought that for her. So that brings my total weekly spending to $203.93. I thought it was gonna be more than that. And also normally I don't get a parking ticket of $50. So without $50, that's actually $153.93, which is like a little bit better. It really depends on the week. It's not like every week is the same. That's not too bad. Uh, if you take that parking ticket out, obviously that wasn't an expense she wanted to spend but how much was the parking meter because she would have had to pay that i would imagine this might have been actually like probably maybe a cheaper week for her based on how she bought things throughout the rest of the week so i would probably assume maybe like 200 dollars a week is what she normally spends so that's about ten thousand dollars a year in like miscellaneous entertainment spending which that's really not too bad and she's a student and she's working part-time and she does a youtube channel so i'm assuming she has plenty of money to be able to spend like that and it's seattle so i know it's just gonna be really expensive anyway there's only so much you can do in places like that so this one's pretty tough for the cheapster seal of approval i think i may need to change my rating system from now on the cheapster seal of approval is is like a award if you win that then you get a lot on the cheap scale out of five i i'd probably give this a three she did pretty good but obviously like buying you know those expensive coffees and shopping at whole foods i know in places like seattle there's only so much you can do sometimes but places like that are just you're gonna spend way too much there i'm glad to see she at least went to trader joe's at some point because it's gonna be a much better price but it's really impressive that she's able to be a student, work part-time, and do a YouTube channel. That is a lot of stuff going on, which probably helps in not spending much because if you're working all the time, you can't really spend money. But yeah, really good video. Uh, that was fun watching. Uh, definitely cool to get to see what things are like in Seattle. So make sure to check out her channel if you want to watch the full video. Alia Zaida. I, I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. It might not even be Alia. A Alia? I, I'm terrible with reading names. But thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Cheapster Reacts. If you guys liked the video, make sure to do the cheapest thing you can today tap that like button also subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video and remember stay cheap that's cheap you still haven't subscribed oh my god come on what are you waiting for